Hello and welcome back to Yakuza 0. The Leisure King has challenged us and it is time to head to the Serena Black Lot. So let's go. Imagine it's going to be fight time, but it's exciting. It's us finishing our first business section. I wonder whether it opens up more now or whether it opens up more like story-wise. Like maybe once the story advances it unlocks another little section. But either way, I'm excited to see. So, Serena, I think, is just past the Pachinko, if I remember right. No, it's actually back here. Uh, and it's this way. Cool. Hello? Ah, the Leisure King called me out here. Should I go and take care of him now? Yes. Yes, you should. I've been waiting for you, Kiryu-san. Alright, I'm here. What do you want, Leisure King? <laughs> what do I want? Are you stupid or something? Come on, you know exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. I warned you last time, right? I told you to back off. And if you, did, if you don't... If I don't, you'll kill me, is that it? <laughs> At least you're not completely stupid. Ah, once you're dead, I can take back all the properties you took from me. It'll be satisfying and convenient. If you hadn't got in my way, I would have crushed Yamanoi and taken control of this whole area already. You've just been a hu big pain in the ass, you know that? If your grand plans got derailed by a beginner like me, what's that say about your business skills? Then again, your business skills are all about beating up old folks like Yamanoi. You really thought you could build an empire based on that? Uh -huh. Wait, are you disrespecting me? Me? One of the five billionaires? Alright, that does it. I'll show you what the Leisure King's truly capable of. Yo, we're gonna beat him into a bloody pulp, boys. Ah, well. You see, that is your idea, but I've been training, so I'm ready. Let's get some heat up in rush mode. And, oh, we already have full heat? Oh, that's fantastic. Just beat him up. Never mind. Ow, 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 ow. Grab him, 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 grab him. Uh, alright, back to, back to rush mode. Tra training's worthless with no objects around. Okay, uh, dodge, 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 dodge. Right. <laughs> Let's do some healing. That went really badly. Okay, that'll do. There we go. Now we got something to throw as well. Nope, we can't use that stick in the same way. Okay, that's fine. Charge. Charge. Get some space. Okay. That went very badly again. Uh, let's go for one of these. Cool. Back to rush. Let's go in for a second or two. I really need to kill some of these others. Oh, what did I do? Well, that was good. Can I grab the motorbike? No, it's too far away. I see. Alright, grab him. This grabbing doesn't work. Just don't grab. I think we're gonna lose, but uh, it's my own fault. Never mind. We we got more health. Uh, let's have one of these as well. Let's go quick. Uh, we've barely done any damage to the Leisure King. I hate it. Right. I need to take out some of the side guys so I stop getting staggered. There we go. Okay. Stand up, stand up. I said I had a thing I could do. Get, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Nope, can't do it anymore. Okay, dodge, 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 dodge. Punch, punch. Dodge. I'm dead. I'm completely dead. Yeah. Okay, so that went terribly. Uh, where did it go wrong? Uh, I tried to do the uh, thing where I switched into a different form. What I should do is just immediately take care of the two weak ones and then we'll be a lot happier. 
Staying in this for a second or two is fine. But I need to move. Alright, let's try and grab the stick. Pick up. There we go. What are you... Just slice attacks. Don't do any stab attacks. Hit as many as you can at once. Alright. Go to this. It's quicker. Grab that. Now I can actually move. Never mind. This is still going badly, huh? The problem is that every single move I do gets hit, like, like countered by one of them hitting. So I need to somehow get hits in and then can, like, run. Yeah, this, this is awkward. I suspect that we're not meant to be quite as weak as we are. Right, dodge. Please don't grab me. That's really annoying. Nice. Good damage. Really was hoping for the insta-kill on the guy on the ground. Didn't really want to target the other one. That's okay. Back in here. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay. Well. There we are. Here's one of those. Stand up. Dodge. Okay. Try a little bit of actual dodging. I don't want to hit the Ledger King, because... Don't grab me! Right. Keep dodging. This guy's almost dead. Fantastic. We killed the other one. This guy is still almost dead. I don't want to hit the Ledger King. Right. There we go. So now we got two down. Now, now we got a little bit better situation. Try and get his um, subordinate down if we can. Dodge. I'm, I'm spamming the dodge key, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm just standing there being hit. Uh, I'm not just standing there being hit. I am spa spamming a key. It's just not working. Right. I think it's because they can both stagger me in the same animation. So uh, I can just keep being staggered forever, in theory, if there's enough enemies. That instant stun is also very annoying. I pressed Y, but he was already standing up. So he has like no he has like no downtime. We are so dead, by the way. Thought I'd let you know. Let's see if we can at least improve on last time. Nope. Not at all. Okay, that went badly. Hmm. Okay. Let's try again. So they have no time on the ground. You have to kind of immediately go for them. So, rush mode. This one. Hate that. You can't do any long combos because you will immediately be countered. You see like this and then you get stunned and then you get stopped. All right. Oh, can't pick up that in this mode. That's fine. Got him. Okay. At least we killed an enemy quickly. Ah, oh, you see, I had that one there, but because the Ledger King stepped forward, I couldn't actually hit the. Le I, I couldn't hit this guy. You see, because if there's somebody who's closer, it will always try and do a move on them. That's where some of the confusions come in here. So, because there's too many enemies, you can't actually target them with your abilities. Okay, one punch. Get him. Nice. Dodge, dodge. Don't get stunned. I'm stun locked. Cool. We were doing so well till we got stun locked. One more of those. Okay, we have two more left. I think I missed one last time that I could have used, but it wouldn't have changed too much. Really need him to. Yeah. They'll need them to attack me and then for us to be lucky. Oh, I got a hit in on him. Alright, good. So while he's on the ground, I can attack his uh, colleague. Got him. Nice. I was spamming the button. Eventually it worked. Okay. Right. It's taking so long to stand up. Okay. Uh, we could probably do it for heal, but we'll see. 
coming in closer. We have no heat, so there's no point uh, worrying about losing it. You know what we could do, though? Chug a couple of these. Or one of those and one of those. That'll probably work. That gives us the speed in this mode. He was still in the combo? Okay. That's what I was after. We got him. Okay. So now it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Use two of these. And a one-on-one -on -one fight is a lot easier. It's not easy, but it's easier. Oh, he has an instant counter. Okay, good to know. Yeah, you try and do multiple hits, he will just immediately counter that. Okay. Keep going. Got him. Nice. That was good damage. That was good damage. Okay. What are you doing on the ground? You just... Oh, wait a second. It said I could do it again. Wonderful. I was saying I was about to be very annoyed that he was on the ground. He was lowering my heat meter. But I think we're still fine. Alright, come for a hit. That was too quick and a different combo than usual. That's his instant knockdown, which actually doesn't do damage. Which is interesting. Okay. Come on. Don't kick. You notice how he was stunned and still attacking? I did. Okay. Do we want to try something else? Let's try this for a second. There we go. That worked. And I think we got him. Yeah, because he's quick. We want to just stand there and take his attacks, basically. There we go. Got him. Oh, quick time event. Complete domination. Wonderful. I'll remember that one for the future, though. Yeah, so if, if the guy is quick and he's, like, knocking you down completely, you want to go brawler and use that, like, I don't care about your combo bit where you just stand there and you instant knockdown and then you can immediately knock, hit, kick him in the head. That's probably what you were meant to do for the whole fight. But anyway, whatever, we made it work. Ugh, this guy is too strong. What's the matter? Weren't you going to kill me? Uh. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No. Holy shit, you're freaking pathetic, you know that? You call yourself the Leisure King. Uh, th these'll be the other four billionaires then? Mm. It's you guys. Oh, thank God. Well... Who the, who the hell are you? <laughs> Uh, I guess you don't know them. Allow me to introduce you. We are... The Five Billionaires. Sure. Alright. You're the Five Billionaires? <laughs> Man, I'm saved. With you guys at my side, we're invincible. Let's take care of this guy together. Er... What are you talking about, loser? Nani? Why would we bother helping you? You're completely useless. You had money, sure, but that's it. Uh? Besides, you just got your ass kicked from here to Osaka. None of us want to be seen with you anymore. Get the hell out of here. Nani? No way, we're in this together, right? <laughs> what are you babbling on about, honey? The five billionaires aren't friends, least of all with you. We just happen to be business tycoons who share the same objective. We're not here to make friends. 
Ah, and we have no interest in bailing you out. But... We didn't come here to bail your sorry ass out of the five, uh, out of the fire. We came here to check out the guy who put an end to your career. I'd wager we'll be seeing more of him soon enough. So, you're President Kiryu. They call me the Gambling King. Nice to meet you. And this is... <laughs> I'm the Pleasure King, honey. I do my thing around the Pink Street area. A pleasure to meet you, heart. And I'm the Media King. But you can call me the Disco King. Ah, our greatest rival. I'm the Electronics King. Hi. Now you've taken out the Leisure King. This Tenkachi Street area is basically yours. Congrats on your big win. What are you gonna do next, huh? Do you have your sights set beyond Tenkaichi Street too? Uh, beyond the Tang Tenkaichi Street area too? Uh. Yes, of course. I'm not going to let you use Kamarocho for your little money games. <laughs> wow, you've got a mouth on you, honey. Why do you care so much about this hot mess of a town anyway? Yep. Oh, give the lad a break. Frankly, I don't care about this cesspool either, but I do care about the money it generates. If this place means so much to you, go ahead and try and take it from us. Let's see what you're made of. Uh, you're on. By the way, uh, the Leisure King was the weakest of the five billionaires by far. Don't get cocky. Well, good luck to you in that wee little company of yours. I'm looking forward to playing with you, honey. Hehe. <laughs> Let's meet again, haha. <laughs> Until then, adios. Bye. The Gambling King, the Pleasure King, the Media King, and the Electronics King, huh? Taking them on won't be easy. Ahem, ah, uh, um, ah. Uh. You're still here? Uh, hey, if you don't mind, can I join up with you guys? Nani? Oh. Uh, yeah, I've messed things up pretty badly for the five billionaires. If he finds me, I'm dead meat. Mm. Who's this he? Oh. Oh, and uh, never mind that part. Uh, just let me join your company so I can lay low there for a while. I'll do any work you give me. And if it's not too much to ask, can I bring along my man, uh, Takeshita, too, please? Uh, not big on pride, are you? Oh, whatever, that's fine. We're short-staffed anyway. <laughs> Alright, I owe you, man. Hey, cool! We've got a manager and a new me member of security. He's alright, he's almost as good as the school cha uh, child we have around. I, I suppose he does have a 2, which is pretty good. I don't know if he's good, but okay. This is where the real battle begins. Fighting style unlocked. Blocks have been unlocked for the brawler style. I thought we already had that. Anyway, new items have been opened on the uh, ability screen. Additional upgrades are now available. Oh, okay. So let's have a look at Brawler. Oh, wow, the whole th Oh, when it said blocks, I think it meant that these blocks are removed. Ah, I see. Um, That's pretty cool. They cost a ridiculous amount, but they are also all there. Okay. So I'm just seeing, yeah, so if we got to like a couple hundred thousand, we can start boosting his health a lot, which would probably be useful. Breaking three from an enemy's grasp is incredibly useful. He seems to get a lot of things while drunk in this style. I'm not sure if that's a good thing for us, but hey, whatever. Uh, Counter-attack when an enemy uh, comes near you. Okay, some of these are quite good, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but we don't really have the money for any of them right now, so that's fine. And it was just that one, right? Yeah, so I assume some of the other ones are going to unlock some of these other styles. Alright, well now I know that, this is even more important to do. Well, let's head back to our business and see what's going on. Um, in the street which is completely and utterly owned by us. Right. Uh, in here. You managed to defeat the Leisure King, Kiryu-san. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm glad I asked you to take over. I know. Um, excuse me, the Leisure King stopped by uh, a little while ago, apparently to say hello. What's going on here? Uh. 
he will be working with us here, actually. He was tough as an opponent, but we'll be much better off with him as an ally. Is that okay with you, Yamanoi-san? He did come to apologize to me directly, and I'm not one to allow petty feelings to get in the way of acquiring valuable manpower. I agree we should bring him a lot aboard. The Leisure King also uh, brought some property deeds and left them for you to make up for things, he said. I checked them. It turns out their property is located in the other five billionaires' areas. They should serve as perfect beachheads when moving our way into those areas. <laughs> The Media King's area is going to take a little bit of time to get ready, but I already have the other three prepped. Ah, so he'll be the final one you go to. Cool. <laughs> I know it's a lot of new work on your plate, but let's do our best, Mr. President. I'm absolutely fine with new work. Let's go. Uh, you want to talk? Oh, yes, Kiryu-san. I forgot to tell you about upgrading the interior. You mean the decor here? Yes. I have an old connection who can help us change the interior of our office, for free even. Free, huh? Well that's great. Now you mention it, it's kind of boring if we're looking at the same four walls all the time, might be good to change things up. I completely agree, if you want to upgrade the interior, just let me know. You can now upgrade the interior of Kiryu's office, talk to Yamanoi when you want to change the decor. While well, only the default interior is available at the start, you can use completion points earned from the completion list to obtain additional interior types. Oh, well I've already done that, so I guess hello. I would like to upgrade. Interior? Sure. I would like it to be cool red. That's not bad, okay. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, I could like red. Alright, hello. Uh, on the other hand, though, have you considered making it green? That is hideous. I hate it. No, no. Make it red again. Green is just, it's just horrible. I'm sorry. That's better. Wait, why did it... I thought for a second there that green was horrible because the curtains didn't match, right? Like, that was one of my problems with it. But they changed the curtains to that horrible style when you made it green. I don't understand. Okay, so somebody deliberately chose that. Okay, then. Well, I'm going to go save. Uh, and then we can, you know, go and do business things as a businessman. Ooh, wow, so now we have a ton of areas. Okay. Um, so I think what we should do first is we should set, we should start um, getting a payout on the Leisure King area. That just makes a lot of sense. Like, just start a payout completely, get that going. Then we should start going to some of the other areas and seeing what we can buy and then come ba back and do the uh, thing. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So first of all, can we get it higher than an S? You cannot invest. Cool. Good to know. Sushi Jin? Uh, oh, right, yeah. Do we, we don't have the Leisure King in this area, do we? No. Okay, so he's on the top level of this. So let's do staff first. So you're 111 minus 2. I could replace you with Leisure King, who is going to be at 0 right now. No, she's better right now. That'll be fine. He might be good on one of the other ones. Here, he's negative 1. You're also negative one, but you'll go up to a one after one of these. You're a zero. I I'm gonna put this guy in. Yeah, I think that I think that seems fine. Yeah. That does it. Okay. That, that that seems like that would work. Okay. Sushi Jin. That's gonna be uh, you. Easy Wonderful. We're gonna get a C rank on it. Popo. Uh, does it stay on the one it was on before? Yeah, okay, so it should just be the one it's on. But I think we all we had circles on everything. Yeah. A rank. Cool. Uh, triangle, was that our best? No, we have double circle. Oh, cool. We will definitely invest. Does cost us an awful lot, but that's alright. We need it. This one, we will... All, well, do we have a better... Yeah, you're better. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't leave it on the one it was on before, it leaves it on the one that the previous property was on. I see. 
Hey, we now have 100% of the area. I like it. Wait, did I not invest in this one? I guess not. Okay, sure. Uh, this one? Uh, that's gonna be her. We're up to A rank. No problem. Um, that'll be you, because you're cheap. Fantastic. Chinko, we can't invest in. Okay, so everything is invested. So that one's ready for a payout. Okay, so we will just send some people off there. Um, I wonder whether we can even have issues at somewhere that's fully paying paying out. Like whether we want to not have the security on that one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna start a payout. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so we'll start that one and then go to the other areas and see what properties we can buy. And then we'll think about maybe collecting payouts from them. Okay. We're outside. No immediate events. Cool. Business. So, I don't know whether it's best to pick an area and invest, or whether it's best to, like, kind of mix and match or something like that. Alright, so we actually already have some in these areas. I see. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I'm reading some of the names and... Uh, let's maybe, let's start with the, I don't know, the Gambling King area is to the north and pays fairly well, so let's go there. So, let's just, it's just above where we are right now, so that's fine. So, it should be starting from here. Let me just see, so what were the names of the places in the Gambling King area? So, Pachinko Big Star, Cinema, Leisure Hall, um... Popery Macpole. We know where Macpole is. Okay. So I don't think that this one is actually for sale. No. Okay. Just gonna continue wandering along here. Oh yeah, sure, we'll fight you while we're here. Why not? A little bit of free money. Switch to this. Oh, we do need to do some eating at some point, but that's okay. Uh oh, more people are joining in from all sorts. Hey, you know what? Fight. This helps us with large numbers of people. There we go. Hey, you. Yep, that works. Hey. Stop doing that. Got him. We do actually need to eat, so I might actually head back here and eat anyway. Wait, in here? Hello, I think we've already eaten everything off your menu, but we'll order it again, I guess. Fine. Hey, and we got a completion point for doing that. Oh, we should go and check, because uh, we got a lot of completion points, we should go and check whether we can get uh, faster collections at the uh, shrine as well. That'll be good. Right, back along here. Uh, so I don't think any of these were it. This one? Don't think it was that either. Right. Oh, we can't. So this one doesn't really exist, I see. Hmm. So nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, nothing there. This one? Pachinko New Cosmos. The pl place is on the smaller side, but they're popular for the unique selection of pachinko machines. What? Oh my... L that is so expensive! I want to go to the Macpole. Macpole, let me in. Wait, does that mean the uh, competition's open? I thought you'd never come. Something wrong? Oh, don't tell me you forgot forgot. Mm -hmm. The challenge has already started. I vaguely recall you saying something about that. So what kind of challenge is it? Get a turkey while you're bowling with us and win an amazing prize. Turkey? Well, that was three strengths in a row, right? Hi. Yes, that's it. And what's the prize? A turkey. So you get a turkey for a turkey. Precisely. Someone thought it would be very funny. Bowl a turkey and get a delicious turkey to eat. It's perfect for the Christmas season. 
To be honest, I've never had a turkey before. Eh? What? Are you serious? That crispy skin, that juicy meat, nothing beats a plump bird roasted to perfection. You'd be missing out big time. Roast turkey is the best. She made it sound so good, now I really want to try it. Alright, in that case, I'm up for the challenge. I knew you would be. I hope you do get a turkey, both in both meanings of the word. Okay, so the challenge is to get a turkey. We'll, we'll take a shot at it right now. We, we may come back and do some more of this later. Uh, I would like to play, and I'd like to play a three uh, frame game, please. When she asks us. Three frames. Because that's all I need. Just get three strikes. It's easy. Hey, and we entertained ourselves 30, um, 30 times. It does, however, mean we need to be perfect from uh, the first bowl, but we'll see. So I think what I worked out was I was happy with this. You aim kind of like that, and then you put a little spin on it, like a one spin. Let's try that. Mm. As I said, we only need three uh, frames. It's perfect. There's one. So we want to be roughly here. Hundred power. Uh, one spin. There we go. Mm. Damn. It was so close. I kind of thought we might need a two spin on that, mm. but it looked good. All right. Well, we'll bowl it out. Why not? Why not? Yeah, single spin. Mm. It, mm. it just feels uh, pointless now. We, we missed a single one. Alright, now this one's just going to be a strike. Perfect. 100 power. Eh, close enough. And then a single spin. It's going to hit the right-hand side of the middle huh. one, and then it's going to give us a strike. Not quite. Okay. Fine. We were almost there. Hmm. Yeah, I think a single one to the left. Oh, no, just one to the left. Right. Even. Oh. I would have probably been fine where it was, huh? Just a horrible game. Well, that was that. Mm. It's a shame you didn't get a turkey. In any case, I hope to see you again soon. <sighs> Thanks. So, if we want to get this place, we have to get a turkey. That is the way to do it. And given how expensive the other places are around here, that's probably pretty good value for money. Okay, right, where's the save point? Save point is here. Let's do a quick save. And then I am actually going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. Apologies, it's a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, but next time, I think we're going to start with some bowling. We're going to get this property. We're going to start the ball rolling on everything. Pun intended. And uh, yeah, then we're going to see where things go from there. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.